Hello, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Oh, no, it's not Wednesday. Pfft. See, I don't even know what day it is. Normally, we're on Wednesday. Today, happy Thursday, and welcome to episode 23 of Here's the Story. I'm Amy Story with Stamped with Joy, and I'm the host of Here's the Story. So, I'm so glad you're joining me today. Um, yeah, I normally do this on Wednesdays at 2 p.m. Central, but I needed to move it a day because yesterday I had my Stampin' Bingo over in McKinney, which is like 45 minutes or so from where I live. And so I was out pretty much all afternoon and evening, so I just needed to move it to today. So thanks for your understanding. If you are not able to catch this live, hopefully you are watching later on the replay or on YouTube, either one. Um, so yeah, so I'm excited because today I've been dying to play with the new Trucking Along stamp set and punch. Um, and I did use it for one of the bingo cards last night. And so that is one of the, well, I'm gonna show a version of that card, but then I've got a couple others too. Hello, Susan, thanks for watching. Um, so yeah so the oh wait before we start though let me remind you what is today is today the 27th i think july 27th so we just have a few days left um till the end of july to get those bonus days coupons so for every 50 dollars you spend during july you receive a five dollar bonus day coupon that you can redeem in August and you can put them all together on your order to redeem. Um, anyway, so that's fun. I'm looking forward to redeeming mine. Um, hello, Karen. Glad you're watching. Thanks for joining. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so don't forget about the bonus days coupons. We got a few days left of that. So accumulate a few more that you can use in August. Um, but anyway, back to the trucking along bundle it is a bundle but right now the punch is sold out you know what I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my desk cam so I can show you these all right um, so yeah this is the trucking along stamp set and this is the coordinating punch now when this is an online exclusive it's not available in any catalog like it's just not featured in any catalog um, but you can see it in the online store it came out like right at the beginning of july i don't remember the exact day but as soon as it did the stamp set quickly sold out very quickly but then they've gotten more in so it is available right now um because stampin up does produce their own stamp set so they are able to get those in stock a little faster but then after the stamp set was back the punch sold out now those are not made here those are made in china i believe and so it takes a while longer to get them. So these are due back in in October. But you know what? You don't even have to have the punch. You can add this on later. But I would definitely, if you love this stamp set, then I would definitely order it soon because it's going to sell out again. And with online exclusives, they're not guaranteed to get more in. So when that sells out next time, who knows? They may not get more in. I don't know. But I would go ahead and get it. And then you can add this punch on later when it's available, but honestly, even if you never get the punch, it's an awesome stamp set. And two of the cards that I'm showing you today, I'm not even using the punch. So you don't, first of all, you don't have to punch out the truck. If you did want it punched out, you can always just fussy cut it too. So anyway, so this is what I'm featuring today. So let's get started. The first one I'm doing, I am gonna use the punch. This is the card, this is one of the projects we made at my Stampin' Bingo last night. And so I'm gonna change it, I'm gonna do pretty much the same card, but I'm gonna change it just slightly. I'm not gonna put the sunflowers in the back. I decided I wanted to do the beach stuff in the back because I haven't used that one yet. So I'm gonna change it up a little bit. So let's start on that one. Let me get all my pieces here. Hey, Jessica. Um, you only, oh, you only got the bunt, the punch. Okay. Oh, good. So you have them both now. Yeah, I know. When it first came out, there was all kinds of things going crazy with the inventory and it would like say we didn't have it, but we did. And anyway, they finally got that straightened out. And right now, at least the, the, soon, the last time I looked at inventory status report, which I'm pretty sure was last night, 
the stamp set is available right now. All right, so I'm starting with a half a sheet of boho blue cardstock. I cut it in half, scored it, cut it in half like five and a half and eight and a half, scored it at four and a fourth. I'm going to use my bone folder to make that nice flat crease there. And then I've got um, this, I believe, is, I don't know if this is, I guess this is four by five and a fourth. Yeah, sheet of um, Whisper White. No, that's the old name. Listen to me. This is ba um, basic white cardstock. And then I have a three by four piece of the um, Countryside Inn DSP, which is a really pretty pack of all blues um, DSP. So I'm going to stick this on. right here. I want to leave a little bit of a white border. I'm going to use my grid paper to help myself get this straight. I'm going to leave a little border at the bottom. All right. I feel like that's still crooked. Is it? Let me see. Mm, yep, it is a little bit. Just lift it up a little and I will reposition it because that's going to bug me. And yes, you still can lift things up even with seal. I do it all the time. All right, I just need to move that corner down a little. All right, that's a little better. Now, one thing that's bothering me though is sometimes when I cut my pieces, they can end up not quite perfect. So I'm just trimming off that little extra edge. All right, so there's that. Now, before I stick this to the card base, I want to add a piece of, this is the Boho Blue um, Jute ribbon that comes in a pack of, with all five of the end colors in a pack of the jute twine or ribbon or whatever it's called. So let's put that here. Now, the way I like to do it is I don't like to wrap all the way around so that I don't use as much of my ribbon. So I... Just And it doesn't make it as thick in the back, especially with this jute that's kind of thick. So I just put a little adhesive there and stick the ends down like that. And then we are going to stick this to the back. So let me use my seal. Stick that down. Like so. All right. So we're good so far. I'm going to set that aside for a moment and we are going to work on our truck. All right, we need the black ink pad and I need I need the truck. So there's an outline truck. I'm going to do that first. and black. So there's the outline. And then there is a solid um, truck that fills in the inside. Or you can obviously, you can color it with Stampin' Blends too. Either way, whatever you prefer. But I'm always a fan of these things. I can just stamp and fill in. I'm going to try to stand up and put and look over the top instead of putting my head right in the camera like I often do. We'll see if this is going to work as well. It's always a challenge doing it on the camera. All right. Oh, my ink's a little bubbly for some reason, but that's all right. That's okay. Um, I'm going to use my Simply Chamois and just clean that off because we're using this like on every card in a different color. So. I'm going to need that again. All right, so there's our boho blue truck, and then we need to stamp the wheels in black. So these fill in the wheels. Now, I figured out the trick to lining this up is to shoot for the center, like match up that little dot with the center of the wheel, and the bottoms will match up too. I had better luck when I was looking at that and not the wheels. All right, so there's our wheels. All right, so let's punch this little guy out. 
And again, if you didn't have, you definitely wouldn't have to have this punched out. It could be stamped onto your um, main piece of paper, or you could fussy cut it too with your scissors. Fussy cutting, if you're not familiar with that, it means cutting out with your scissors. That's our, that's what we call fussy cutting. Um, all right, so there's our truck punched out. Don't need that for anything else. Okay. Um, I need to stamp the ground on this. I'm going to use Pebbled Path to stamp that. This little piece right here, let me get up in the camera better. This little piece right here is the ground, and I'm doing Pebbled Path. Just going to stamp this right down here. Okay, so there's our little piece of ground. Now, before I stick this on, I'm going to kind of lay it on here and see where I need to stamp my little palm tree and surfboard thing. This is what I'm doing different than the original card. So it's going to go about right there. Let's see if I got that pretty good. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. And now we need to stamp. There is a little fill-in one for the palm tree, and I'm going to use Granny Apple Green to stamp that. Okay, so again, just hover over. Like, I'm not going to stamp it till I'm hovering and moving it back and forth and see that I've got pieces lined up, and then stamp. I still didn't get that lined up perfectly on the top there, but that's all right. Okay, and then there's not a fill-in for the surfboard or the, um, or the, look, here's my solution for where I didn't get it up there. Just use my marker and color it in. There we go. Which you could do anyway instead of stamping the thing. It honestly doesn't matter. But there isn't a fill-in for the... Um, surfboard or the um, floaty so I'm going to just color that with that's Daffodil Delight stamp and blend and then this is the um, pumpkin pie well, it looks like some good summery colors there all right so there we go that's done so now oh, I want to put some clouds on here as well in boho blue So we'll just put like maybe one up here, maybe one like right about here, and one over here. All right, so there's our clouds. I think we're done with boho blue. I can put that one away. Don't need that anymore. Um, we do need our sentiment stamp. Let's just go ahead and do that. Where is it? Oh, that's right here. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. All right, so we're going to do our sending, sending you sunny thoughts right here. And this, um, this little label that I cut out, that is from the Wonderful Thoughts dies that goes with the Wonderful Thoughts stamp set. It's kind of a fun little shape. All right, <clears throat> let's put this card together now. So let me go ahead, before I put the truck on, I'm going to stick the white down to, this is a square, oh, and I cut that out with the um, stylus shapes dies. That's the largest square in that set. And then this is a three by three piece of crushed curry cardstock. That I cut. Now the truck can be popped up with some dimensionals. That, that, and that. Probably wouldn't even need three on there, but you know, let's just be, put some extra. Oh man, I got 
I got ink on there for something. It must be on my fingernails or something. Darn it. It's all right. All right. So that's going to go like that. Oh, that's cute with the little palm tree and stuff. I like that. This actually would have been easier to do last night than the one that I did, but it was cute too. All right, get those dimensional backs off. We're just going to pop this up right about here. And then this, I'm also going to pop up. Right up here. And then I've got another piece of the Boho Blue Jute that I'm going to tie... Oh, actually, I don't want to tie it around it because this is really, this uh, jute is pretty thick, so I don't want an extra knot in there. I'm just going to make a bow. Sometimes I tie it around, and sometimes I just stick the bow on. In this case, I just want to stick it on. So I'm just going to tie a bow. My nails are way too long. I need to get them done. Trim off a little of the ends there and then we just need a glue dot these glue dots are about to run out in fact i think i am at the end of it darn it okay we'll just put this on like this and then i want to put some embellishments here i think i'm going to use these are the in color dots the 2020 three 2025 in color dots i'm going to actually use the wild wheat which match the um crushed curry really well actually in this particular thing let's see if i can get this off this one is going to be hard to get off because it's just a little scrap i'm going to use my scissors put that and then get that so there we go. There's card number one, our little beach card. I love the blue truck. I just love the truck. I um, um, I love anything that has a truck in it. This is like, we've had several sets over the years that have a truck, and I always want it because I love it. All right, so there's the first one. I'm going to hold it up so y'all can see it a little closer. I think that turned out cute. All right, let's do card number two. I think I may need some of this out of here, yeah. All right, I'm gonna shuffle my little trays around here. All right, so I love this one. This may be my favorite one. Pink, a pink truck. I saw the other day my friend Diana Gibbs, she made this with a pink truck. Uh, uh, it was not exactly the same card, but she did do a pink truck. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so cute and pink. And then, in honor of Barbie, I don't know how many of you have seen Barbie. It was super funny. Um, I saw it with two of my girls last weekend, and we had fun seeing it. I laughed a lot, and it's a it's a cute movie. It's very it's very silly too, but it also has a good message, you know, about women in the world and stuff. So anyway. It's a cute movie, and I loved Barbies growing up, so I was excited to see it. And so in honor of Barbie, we're going to do a pink card. It's not hot pink, but it's pink. I love pink. It's my favorite color. That's why I use it in my logo and stuff, because I really like pink. And I love the pink with the black. So let's make this one next. All right, so this is Bubble Bath cardstock. I have a sheet love a bubble bath probably one of my favorite new if not definitely my favorite new color all right and this um this is another piece of bubble bath this one is i think um three and three fourths by five and then this dsp is from and dsp is designer series paper in case you're new to stampin up 
Just want to make sure you know that. That's what that stands for. We just call it DSP for short. Um, this paper is from um, the Delightfully Eclectic DSP pack, and it's a big pack of 48 sheets of um, 12 by 12 paper. You get four of each design, which is really nice to get a to have a lot when you want to make multiples of something. So I'm going to use this pattern and just stick this right at the bottom. Like that. And then we are going to stick that to, um, this is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. So it's just an eighth of an inch larger than the bubble bath and the basic so that's like basic black Let's layer that okay um let's see ribbon ribbon in my face look and I noticed when I was doing this oh I'm at the end of my gingham ribbon so I've got it um I've got it added to an order ready to turn in for my next order because I have to have a stock of this. I love it. It's my favorite. Um, so I'm just going to put a piece across here. The same little trick I always do. Stick the ends down and then we will go ahead and stick this down. that around a little make sure I've got it straight okay now this is a um, this is basic white cardstock that I've cut out see the deckled edges um, I cut that out with the deckled rectangles um, deckled rectangle dies so I'm gonna do the ground again in pebbled path it's a good ground color that's one of the new ink colors this year. It's a good one. I'm gonna put this right here. Okay. And then we're gonna do our truck in black again. And now I'm, this one I'm just stamping directly on the paper. I'm not gonna punch it out. No need, it's just as cute, just stamped. There. Okay. We need the wheels again. Again, just shoot for the center of the tires and you'll get that lined up well. Now we're going to line up our pink truck. Where is it? I already cleaned that off, didn't I? Yep. So this is bubble bath ink, um, so we're going to stamp that right over here. Look how cute that is. Love it. Okay, let me clean that truck because again, we need it next on the next one again. All right. And we also need to stamp the stuff in the back of the truck. Um, let's see what else we need out here. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to put little plants in the back of this one. So let's just stamp that. Let me see if I'm going to be in the... Right there. So there's our plants. That's in black. And then um, there's a fill-in stamp for that that I'm going to use. Oh, hold on. I didn't get my Melon Mambo ink pen. I think I accidentally, I accidentally put it away, but I need it. Melon Mambo is just a darker pink. And so I'm going to stamp the, um, the little fill-in flowers here. Now, they're so little... It doesn't, it's not going to be the end of the world if you do not get this matched up perfect because they, it's just going to be little pink dots there, basically. So there's our flowers. 
And then to make the leaves, we're just going to use the light granny apple green. Um, so I'm just going to dot a little of that around where the leaves are. Okay, and then I'm using the light, what is this one? No, dark, the dark gray granite to color in the, the little pots. They're really not pots, they're like buckets, I guess. They're metal buckets. Okay, so there's our little plants in the back. So cute. And then I wanna stamp our sentiment right up here in black. Every day is a fresh start. I like that sentiment because it's so true. No matter what kind of day you have, every day is a fresh start. I like that. Okay, so there's that. Let's see, we don't need that anymore. All right, so now we're going to pop this up right here. here we need to tie another piece of ribbon around I'll slide it underneath there and tie this on to make a bow off a little. And there's our bow. Love it. You know I love bows. Oh, oh gosh. I have to get some of this in soon. It's going to be gone. Okay, now for our embellishments, I'm going to use the adhesive backed sparkle gems, which come in gold, um, black, and I guess they're silver. They're kind of silver, kind of clear. But I want to use some of the black ones. So let's this is my take your pick tool which is awesome for sticking your embellishments on so I'm gonna put a couple down here and then one right up here all right so there's that one I love the pink one who wouldn't want a pink truck right maybe a guy I don't know <laughs> But, okay, card number two. I know, Jessica, I agree. That gingham ribbon just goes with so many things. I feel like whenever I need a little something on a card, that's what I need. So there's our pink card. I'll see if I can bring that up a little closer, too, so you can take a look at it. Fun. Okay, I've got one more, and this one is a Christmas card. And... Um, spoiler alert, but if you, I'm starting my um, Christmas card class series next month. It'll go through from August through November. If you do all um, four months, you'll end up with 40 Christmas cards ready to send out by December because um, you'll make 10 each month. Well, this is going to be one of the ones in August. So, um, yeah, this will be one of the five designs for August. So, I'm going to show you how to make that one next because I had to do a red Christmas truck. We have like so much red Christmas truck stuff for our Christmas decor in our house because we love it. So, love that. All right, so this is a half a sheet of Mossy Meadow cardstock. And the DSP that I wanted to use in this one is actually from the Let's Go Fishing um, paper. But I love this plaid. It's mossy meadow and I actually think that's wild wheat is the other color in there but it's and it's very vanilla is the background it's not white it's vanilla so it's a little uh, you know 
more rustic looking, I guess, or something. But I am going to put this two by five and a half inch piece right here. And I do want to leave just a little mossy meadow border on the side. This is another situation where, well, it's pretty close. I guess that's pretty close to the right length. That's fine. Um, anyway, sometimes it, the paper comes out different length than it's supposed to. All right, this, um, I cut this little banner from the, I'm going to bring it up close so you can see the stitching on it. Uh, I don't know if you, there we can kind of see it. Um, it's from the Nested Essentials dies. It's the smallest banner in that set and I'm just going to put this right here at the top. All right and then set that aside for a moment. These two pieces are also from the Nested Essentials dies. This is the largest um, one of the rectangle ones and then this is the second largest and this is very vanilla that I cut it out of because it matches the DSP, the vanilla and that. And so I'm going to stamp my truck on here in black. This one I'm not putting a road. I'm just going to put a truck. Put it about right there. Okay. And then we are going to stamp. I say we. I mean me. <laughs> I am going to stamp the truck, the inside of it, in real red. Because this is real red cardstock right here. I love the pop of red with this. Okay, I'm gonna stand up again for this. All right, so I'm gonna hover, make sure I've got it in the lines, and stamp. Perfect. Perfect. Love it when it comes out perfect. Okay, so there's the truck. I think, well, we may need the red again in a minute. Okay, and then we're going to stamp, where'd it go? Here it is. We're going to stamp this little farm fresh on the door of this one. There we go. Farm fresh. And then we need to stamp. I think I'm done with the black. I'm going to put that up. Put that up. We're going to do the trees. There's two parts of the trees. The tree. There's an, like an outline one, and then there's a more solid one. So I'm going to do the outline one first, because a good rule of thumb, when you're doing, it's called two-step stamping, when you have two parts to stamp on top of each other. It's always the best, the, I think, the easiest way to match up is if you do the dark color first. So whatever is going to be the darkest color, do that stamp first. Um, and, oh, hey, Andrea, glad you're joining. And thanks, I'm glad you like it. Um, so I'm going to do Mossy Meadow for the outline one, and I'm going to do that first because it's darker. Because that way you can see the darker ink through your next through the block better. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so there's the outline part, and I'll kind of show you what I mean a bit. So when you're inking up, oh no, I don't want to do it in that color. Hang on. I want to do it. Let me put that one away. That was Mossy Meadow. That's the darker color. And then I'm going to do the inside in Old Olive, which is a little bit lighter. But because it's lighter, so when I'm stamping through there, because it's lighter, see, I can see that outline. Whereas if I was stamping the dark second, you wouldn't be able to see the, uh, the lighter one as well. So it's always good to do the darker first. So I'm going to hover over this and try to match up the parts of the tree. Oh, good. Okay, and so there's our tree stamped in the back. Okay, done with that. And now we are ready to layer onto our real red die. Okay. 
So we've got that layered. And then we are going to pop this up right here on the front. I really love this card because it's it's so cute, but it's very um, quick and easy, I think. Sometimes I feel like people do get overwhelmed if they see that there's too many stamps, which, you know, when you have to do the doubles, there are a lot of stamps, but it's not hard at all. As you can see, I'm doing this very quick and easy. So I'm going to pop that up right there, and then right up here I want to put... Um, a red ribbon just to add another little pop of red on there. This red ribbon comes from this combo pack. It comes with the real red, the which is I think that looks like about three eighths or a fourth inch maybe, and then the burlap one, which actually the burlap one would be super cute on here too. I just really felt like I wanted another pop of that red on here. So I'm gonna just tie it into a bow. Here's a good, I'll do a bow tie. I try to remember to do bow tying lessons every now and then. So start at this, this is the left end I'm starting with. And you wanna kinda of start pretty far down to that end so that you have plenty of room to wrap this around. So make your loop, wrap this around and kinda of keep your thumb in there to keep that, um, this is gonna be the square knot part. So keep that open. And then make your second loop like that and just stick it through there and then try to keep that kind of flat while you're pulling because you want to keep that a nice square on the front and then you just pull it back and forth and tighten until you get it the size that you want it. I want this one to be kind of small about like that so there we go and I'm going to trim the ends to the length I want them to be and to even them up. And I'm just going to pop that on up there with a mini glue dot if there's any left on this roll. Let's see if I can, nope, I don't think I can get any. Let's see if this one will come off of the cardboard. I doubt it. Well, I may, I, I'm going to have to actually go over there and get another roll. Hang on. Hang on. I didn't realize that one was out or I would have had it over here. Grab one right over here. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Actually, I messed up my bow a little when I did that. All right, now I've got a better roll. And I've got cardboard and glue dots on my fingernail now. Oh, I'm having all kinds of issues. Ah. Hold on. Well, now I have a glue dot on my fingernail. I'll get that off later. All right, there we go. I'm having a glue dot malfunction. All right, so I just want that right up there at the top. I'm gonna trim these. I think I pulled that smaller, so I'm gonna trim these a little more. Like that. Okay, now you notice I didn't put a greeting on the outside. I played and played with this. Oh, I do want to put some embellishments on the outside, though, because it needs them. I'm going to use the very vanilla. Um, these are the classic matte dots, and I'm going to use them and put just a couple of those right there. That just adds a little something in that spot. Embellishment embellishments make everything better in my opinion okay so I played around with the sentiment I want to use the um, I gotta find it it's over here the wishing you a festive Christmas and I tried like putting it on a piece down here or going off to the side I don't know it just I wasn't happy with it on the front and I thought you know what that's so cute just by itself like it doesn't really need anything else so, and I, we kind of need a piece of um, very vanilla on the inside because it's, whenever there's a darker cardstock, I like to put a light color on the inside to write on. Um, and so that's what I'm going to put inside. But I'm going to just stamp the greeting on the inside. Why not? That's what a lot of Christmas cards have. So I'm going to stamp it in red, just right inside, right here. And I always recommend do always do all of your stamping before you stuck that paper to anything you notice like on the truck i didn't stick it to the red 
before I um, stamped and the other ones I always stick it in and even the inside because if you mess up you can turn it over or you, and you don't ha or if you need to cut another piece or whatever you don't already have it stuck to the other piece so it's just don't always don't do that step until the end do your stamping before you stuck anything down that's my advice for today so I'm going to put that and that's a four by five and a fourth piece of very vanilla. And so there we have our completed card. Yay, I love that Christmas card. So this will be one of the five designs at my uh, August Christmas card class, which I will be advertising that very soon. I've nailed down all the dates um, for the next few months. So I will, um, and every month I'll send out a different sign up. So you don't have to do all four months, but if you do do all four months, I always give you a gift on the um, fourth month. Or I, it may even be the five months, because in December I'll do a Christmas tag class. But that may just be a standalone. Anyway, all the details will be on the email when I send it out. I'm still nailing all that down. But um, yeah. So, but I'll send a separate email each time, but the emails will have all the dates listed so that you can kind of mark your calendars with those. If you wanted to, and I'll, it will be offered in person in McKinney and in Denton. There'll be sessions in both places and it'll be offered by mail or porch pickup as well. Um, so yeah, lots of chances to do those Christmas card classes. All right. So those, let me bring all three of my cards out. This is the trucking along the trucking along bundle I'm trying to see if I can get them all in the frame here um, and again the punch is currently not available um, it will be back in October or it could be sooner sometimes things come in sooner but like I said I would snag the stamp set now um, because it is available and it's not guaranteed to stay available after it runs out. So I would snag it now because it's great. Like I didn't even use the punch on these two cards. Even on this one, you wouldn't have to. You could do it the same way I did this or you could fussy cut if you want a truck to be, have the dimension and be popped up. So, um, but the stamp set is awesome in and of itself. I wanna do another one with packages in the back because that's cute, I haven't used that one yet. Anyway. So that is it for today, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me. And um, thanks, y'all. I'm so glad that you like the cards. And I always appreciate you joining. And also, if you share this video, it is also wonderful and helps me out. So I appreciate it. So y'all have a great rest of your day. Have a wonderful weekend. Don't forget about the bonus coupons. You've got a few days left to take advantage of that deal. So I will see you next time. Bye.